What's up, and welcome to Surging Ahead. Last weekend, Tesla finally lived up to the promises they made months and months ago and did a wider release of the full self-driving beta. Now, Elon announced that anybody who had a score of 100, or a perfect score, would be allowed into beta. Now, this was mostly true, but there were several people, including myself, actually, who were left out. There are various reasons for it, and today, we're going to dig into those. So stick around, and we'll find out what's going on. Alright, so the first group of people who got left out was by far the largest. And these were people that got their score up to date on any time after Friday at about 2.15pm Pacific. Um, at this time, it looks like Tesla took a snapshot of all data, and anyone with 100s theoretically got the update then. Anyone who did not have it did not. Now, I think this would have gone over fine, and people would not have complained all that much had Tesla then released the beta that Friday night like they originally announced. However, Tesla then delayed it a couple of nights and launched it on Sunday night, or really Monday morning, and because of that, there were a large group of people who managed to get their scores up to 100 from 99 or even lower in that period of time who were then excluded from the beta. Um, and, you know, I can understand this group being angry. I would be if my score was there and I had been um, subject to that. But, you know, I think, you know, had it not been late, they wouldn't have been as mad. And I also don't think they're all that mad because they have to think the next release will get in, so fine, just hurry up and release that next beta batch. Um, the second group, and these individuals, I think, also are mad, and I would be extremely angry if I was them as well. Um, and these are your newest Tesla buyers that bought the Tesla Model S Plaid, and the new long-range Tesla Model S that has the new infotainment system and all that and the yoke steering wheel. None of these users got in on the original build that Tesla launched for uh, 10.2. However, a couple days later, Tesla did release a new build, and I've seen at least two prominent uh, Tesla figures who were granted access in early access program get access to this. So, um, you know, I'd be mad if I had a score of 100 and they didn't give it to me, but then a day later or two days later, they started to give it to other people who did not have to participate in this beta request thing. Um, but on the bright side, at least they know that their vehicles do have supported builds of the software. And so hopefully in the next release, these people will be included. So the third group of people that were left out of the beta um, are those who had cars that originally shipped with the Autopilot 2 hardware. Um, and the difference here is that these vehicles shipped with a different type of radar, which completely irrelevant in the full self-driving uh, suite because we are using vision only for these most recent builds. So if once you join full self-driving beta, you get switched to vision only everything. So you can just throw out the lesser radar, doesn't matter. But what may matter is that they shipped with RCCC camera sensors, which have the ability to see red and then clears. Um, and so these cameras don't resolve a full RGB spectrum, and as a result, the images they send back um, are closer to black and white. They're not quite black and white. Like, you get you get some color depth in them just by having that, that red filter attached to it. Um, and with these cameras, they have been able to do the stoplight and stop sign stuff in the public builds of full self-driving. So up to this point, it has not been a major hurdle. However, with the full self-driving beta, at least that has appeared on any of the forums or on the, uh, the Discord channel 
for Tesla. None, none of the places you would normally look are we seeing any evidence of anyone with a 100 score getting this software if they had a car which originally shipped with autopilot too. Um, now, as a prerequisite to get into this, you had to have already had the full self-driving computer installed and you had to have the MCU2 upgrade because they were not pushing this uh, request button to MCU1 cars. So, I don't know. Um, it's tough to really say where we're at and it's tough to definitively say 100% that nobody with an uh, original Hardware 2 vehicle got the beta, um, but it doesn't look like if there is anyone that got it, they aren't coming through on the forums. Um, and what makes this difficult is there aren't that many vehicles that shipped with Autopilot 2. Um, it looks like, and this is just an estimate because I don't think these figures have ever been publicly uh, dropped, but it looks like maybe around 100,000 cars came out with that. Um, and if you then extrapolate that, the current take rate of full self-driving appears to be somewhere around 11%. So if you had the same take rate then, which is definitely a stretch, but if you had that same take rate back in 2016, 2017, then you're probably only looking at maybe 10,000 cars total that have full self-driving um, out of those. And, and so really then it becomes an interesting question for Tesla, right? If it is a lot of work to train their models for these cameras, is it worth it for only around 11,000 customers? And and I don't know if Tesla knows the answer to that. I, I, I also don't know if they have been training the net and there is a real issue with these cameras or if there was just some something that came up in the regression testing and they decided that it was safer not to push full self-driving to those vehicles or what's going on. Um, and I don't... I don't expect Tesla to come out and tell us, yes, these vehicles aren't getting full self-driving, but it did lead to me being pretty depressed on that, that first day when you're seeing all these other people that had scores of 100 getting that beta and just watching and going, well, what, what, <laughs> what's wrong with me? Why am I not getting it? What, what happened? And, uh, just hoping for another wave, which never came and clearly isn't until at least the next version of the full self-driving software. So it sounds like 10.3 from what Elon's saying now. But even then, I don't have a lot of confidence that my car is going to get it. So, you know, I, I don't want to make this a sob story about me, but I did put in a lot of effort to get my score back up and I feel like I'm being left out a little bit here. So... I don't know. Overall, I am excited to see this beta, and for any of the groups of people here who feel left out, you know, I see you. Um, it was not easy to get to where we wanted to be. Um, we played the game that Tesla put in front of us, and then it kind of feels like they're just leaving you out. Um, and it is, it does feel like a little bit of an insult, and a, well, why, why me kind of thing, right? And it would go a long way for Tesla to say something. But Tesla right now is not built to do that. Their public relations branch is Elon Musk. And he's not going to come out and tell us why our vehicles are being excluded, if they even are, right? He's going to be silent on it. Um, even if there was a public relations branch, especially with the Autopilot 2.0 people, I don't think it's in their best interest to say what's going on because if they haven't decided what they're going to do with it, then to provide any kind of update on it you know, could end up being legally binding in some way. So regardless, you know, I'm just sitting here watching and it is exciting to see the beta rolling out. I'm excited to see it go to more people. Um, but I am a little sad that in spite of all of my efforts to get in, I'm still watching from the sidelines. So anyway, those are the people that were left out, it appears. If you know differently, if you have seen any specific Autopilot 2.0 cars in there, um, and remember, Autopilot 2.5 cars were built in 2017 as well. So just because there's a 2017 Model S or Model X in the beta does not mean they were originally Autopilot 2. Um, 
there's a good chance they were autopilot 2.5 to begin with. That's what most of the examples we've seen are. But if you do know of a specific truly autopilot 2.0 vehicle that's in the beta, please let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, honestly, that would make my day almost more than anything else. Um, because that would mean there are builds for my vehicle, and even if they weren't ready for consumption on day one, hopefully I'll be a part of it soon in future updates. So, anyway, uh, this has been Brett with Surging Ahead. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.